So I've already died once with the permadeath in the new survival, but it wasn't due to anything new survival-y. Unless, of course, I was max adrenaline and then fucking blew myself up. Oh, god damn it! What the hell just happened? But, one dead dude down. Um... So we're starting over from this point. If you're super fucking, super fucking bummed that I didn't show killing all the rat roaches, worry not, because we're gonna do all the bullshit. Um... But... Yeah, we got... We, basically, I was... I was fine, I decided that I was gonna fuck around with some Molotovs in a place where there's just, like, random things for Molotovs to clip into, and I blew myself up. So... Death count one. We did have three last time. Yeah, I agree. I don't, I don't really want to do interactive cutscene shit. I mean, I do like the idea of having a different guy. But I don't like the idea of, um... I don't like the idea of, of wasting even more time than we've already wasted. I kind of wish that I could just fucking do this continuously, but I can't. I have to do school and work and things like that, but... Such is life, I guess. Oh, we're not gonna... Yeah, last time and this time, both times, I didn't scrap everything. I just, um... Yeah. I was just going through the game like normal, so... I, I didn't, like, go through and scrap all those things. I scrapped some shit so that I would have some time to do other shit, but... My cat is attacking the carpet now because she's bummed that I pushed her away. I feel bad about that, too, but it's, it's fucking unbearable. You can't just fucking claw me all the time while I'm trying to focus here, man. This is this is a game, but it's it's a very important that I am paying a fucking attention here. Do we just have a stream shut off? Oh god damn it. What's happening right now? Panics? Is it fucked? Refresh, team. I think it's still okay. In that time, in the time when I shut off the stream and then turned it back on really fast and everybody freaked out, I console commanded all kinds of crazy shit, so now we can't possibly die. Just kidding, no console. Okay. What? Inconceivable. Oh my god. Now I'm fucking rattled. What the hell? Oh, this is the third worst day. And it's only the fifth or sixth worst worst stream. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Apparently I have a bobby pin this time right here. Don't know where I got it. Probably from one of those yellow boxes. That's it. I do not want any of that terrible shit. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all of this crazy shit. I know, like, first of all, I know that people don't really like it very much, but also, I don't really like doing it that much. I like doing it a bit, you know. Even if I could scrap all Sanctuary, I don't think anybody would like me to do that. Why the fuck did I get a level up from not hacking that lock? I hack locks and I pickpocket computers. So... fuck. The savant it is. I should probably be a little bit more careful. Any rules change for this run? The, the only rule is that I can't die or have to restart from scratch. And I fucked that up by deciding that I was gonna play the let's see how fucking good my explosives game is. So... 
That's my own stupid goddamn fault. Which is good, because if it was somebody else, if it was the game having, like, fucked me, I would be real, real pissed. But, as it stands, it was all me. Yeah, we get a lot of antibiotics first thing off the bat, you know? Know what I'm saying? I feel like we had a really good strategy last time, though. A really nice, well-played setup. Hack locks and pickpocket computers, yeah, for sure. Just sign build and scrap weirdest builds to catch up on levels. I'm not gonna do that, no. I really don't want to do level boosting when we have this much to get through. It doesn't make sense. Um. She can't be dead. Mhm. It doesn't make sense. Mhm. No. Codsworth, you're acting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Stay yeah. With me, pal. Focus. Uh -huh. Thank you, Codsworth. I don't. Yeah, I don't really like. I don't really right. like to do the grindy shit, but. The way. Right. I suppose it's a thing that can be done. I just don't really feel like doing nice. it. Now this needs to go to perception. We can actually grab some of this stuff that's vaguely useful right off the bat, but... I may just decide to scrap some shit here. I don't... Don't particularly... Okay, well, it looks like maybe Zen time is something that you guys want me to do, but it takes like 30... Well, 15 to 20 minutes, I would say, to scrap all of Sanctuary. And we've already... Well, we already fucked off an hour. I would really rather not do that, the scrapping of Sanctuary, until I'm sure that we're not gonna... Oh, we did get some more bobby pins. I don't know where, though. Um, until we're sure that, uh... uh just take all this shit. That I'm not gonna fucking die, which means I need to go get that power armor and do all of that shit first. So that's what I intend to do. I mean, there's a lot of pointless shit that we did. I guess it wasn't pointless, but it was... It was shit that we did that, that now we have to do again, and that's sad. Laying down paintings for a couple levels is the best. I mean, it's alright. I find it hard to believe that I would be like, oh, lack of sleep. I've just slept for 200 years. Okay. I don't need to sleep that fucking much. Thanks for trying, Cos. Thanks for your help, Cosworth. I'm glad that you secure the home front for me because I can't do it for myself. I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's at least go get the first part of our normal shit. We don't need to do any of this right now, not particularly. Drop hole, P40, uh, what is this? I am not familiar with what's happening right here. Cat blamed for player death. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> I guess, man. I mean, fuck. Make me feel bad about it, why don't you? Okay, we don't need to go to the dog yet or any of that shit. We just gotta go get that power armor. Power armor so powerful. Yeah. John Dixon. Yeah, that's a good that's a good name. I like that. What up, Count Cuckoo? Wanna know what you should do? Yeah, I should start the fuck over because I just died. What do you what do you think I should do? Go fucking fight a death claw with fucking my vault vault suit on? And a 10 millimeter pistol until I run out of bullets and then run out and whack it with the pistol till he dies. And tell everyone, all your friends, that you got me to do that. Is that what you want me to do? You fucker, you motherfucker. No can do. Not for a little while at least. Alright, I'm just going to cross right here. Oh, I keep getting distracted as to what direction I need to go. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. 
I don't need the dog. Speaking of the dog, I don't need. There's one. There's a rad stag doe. Kevin from the office. He does look a little bit like that guy, doesn't he? We, we gathering up this shit for no reason at all, I guess. Yeah, I think he looks kind of like, uh... I don't know. He looks like a fucking... They decided to cast somebody literally as Homer Simpson. Only with fucking white skin. Yeah, I would love to do a Big Lebowski series one of these days, but... Fuck, if we don't have tons of shit that's constantly popping up here. You know? I mean, we're just constantly finding ourselves looking down the barrel of, like, a million challenges at once. So... What's in the bottle is Blenheim Ginger Ale Red Cap. This is not good. Do not, do not have the capacity to engage in that raider fight. Not even close. If I try to fight these raiders, I'm just gonna fucking get killed a ton. You are parched from lack of water. Good. Good. Somewhere around here it's gonna tell me that I can't go this way anymore, but... I think we do need to go actually further north. Here's the vertebird that I desperately need, but it's not going to be any good until we get that fusion core. And I don't want to activate all these mole rats, so let's go the over the hill way. I thought that came in a can. Blenheim? Uh, I think it's always come in a bottle because it's called Red Cap. Look, this place has bullets and a mattress where I can sleep. Oh, hell no! <laughs> and uh, get almost killed. Apparently. Well, we learned our lesson. Don't sleep in a raider mattress. Don't have any of those set up either. Alright, we gotta get the fuck out of here. This idiot can chase me over here if he fucking really wants to, but he's gonna find himself looking at a very painful experience. There's a museum around here somewhere. Well, hopefully they really did fix this robot, because otherwise we're in deep shit. We're not going to last very long. I'm thinking, oh, this robot, this robot is okay. Okay, so this robot did kill the raider wherever the fuck he might have ended up. I didn't even see what he looked like, but I wouldn't mind grabbing all of his shit and putting it on immediately. Because so we have, like, literally nothing. Uh, that's radiation resistance. I don't think the perception has really given us any kind of benefit here, but we need damage resistance more than anything. Oh, we don't need this thing, I guess. Oh, yeah. This is what this guy looks like right now. Did I die? I did die, yeah. Jesus Christ, it's all gone wrong. Where is this fucking robot, man? He had one fucking job. 
It's all fucked now. No new build? No, it's the same build. Or should be. I don't know what the fuck keeps fall flying up in the air, but... Come on in here, since this is your place to patrol. You fucking son of a bitch. Oh, that's not good. I didn't even store the junk that I picked up up to this point. This has gone very fucking sour. I grabbed that fucking fusion core, so I guess we're okay there. But all of these idiots didn't just pull over here and then get killed. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, enough about that. Let's go over here and get the, the power armor that's right here. Otherwise, I'm going to die at any fucking second. This time it has everything except for the left leg, so that's nice. Or right leg. Fat man in the junkyard, you want me to make sure that I get my, uh... Make sure that I get my fucking mini nuke as well. Newbie 1 has followed. Hi, Newbie 1, how's it going? You should be called Newbie 1 Kenobi. How much do mini nukes weigh now? Well, let's go find out, why don't we? Make sure we grabbed all the meat. What are you shooting at now? A, a dough, a rad stack dough? Seriously? Alright, here's the mini nuke. Mini nuke ammo weighs 12 pounds. Yeah, we're playing survival mode. We already died once, which is a real shame, because I felt like we were doing okay up until I decided to blow myself up with my own fucking Molotov. That's a great fucking story, man. Why don't we do this? Why don't I send you to USAF Olivia? He's still trying to kill something, but I don't know what it is. I think he got it, whatever the fuck it might be. Oh, is it a dog? An attack dog? Bit Crusher, thanks for the follow. What's up? Yeah, I just fucking croaked, which is a damn shame. Um I don't like I don't like having the stream go wasted, and I certainly don't like the idea of having it go fucking backwards. Highlight of last death. Clee, update the build, you lying shit. What are you talking about? Update what fucking build? Are you not entertained? The build is highly valuable at this moment. It just so happens that we fucked up and killed ourselves. It's not because the build is invalid. Shoot him! Shoot him all! Damn it, more fucking dickheads? I'm certainly getting shot at a lot. with that shotgun shit. I'm gonna get killed again right fucking here. Here's the Molotov guy. Jesus Christ, we're getting wrecked.
Okay. Shall we return to the homestead and do the things that I so desperately, desperately need to do? I kind of wish I had grabbed all that mole rat hide, but I would have been over encumbered, undoubtedly. This is... okay. You gotta understand, what are you upset about? What do they do? What has made you miffed, friend? It looks cool, not a practical design. Um... I will say this, I don't know anything about the Tesla, but I really do want a fucking Tesla, like Model S or whatever. I think that they're cool. Uh, they're fucking hell expensive, though. We're gonna get another fucking... Jesus, would you look at that poison go? That's pretty intense. That poison was going bananas on me. Uh, I don't know. None of this stuff will give me HP except for this. And it probably makes more sense to use it as a... Well, at this point, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Fuck. I'm gonna die right here, too, because of poison damage. Let's check, t just take a quick look-see. Oh, it's not showing me my poison damage. But yeah, I'm taking poison damage right now. I'm at fucking 5%. It says, holy crap, that was close. But yeah, if I fucking go out of this, I'll probably die anyways. I can't do anything with any of this shit. Um, I may be able to survive by stacking healing from various things. Alright, so there's that. The buff out is probably what's going to save my life at this point. Yeah, see, that would have killed me. But we got to get the fuck out of here. We're taking... We're taking some serious fuck-up areas here. What happened in the last 10 minutes? I fucking came back through, took poison damage from some blood bugs, and almost died. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Um, like an okay guy. 2009 Ford okay, Edge. Then. Yeah, I have a 1984 yeah. Cadillac, and I just bought it for like $1,100 from some guy who, despite his weird Croatian proclivities, ended up. Um, he he ended up like driving in nowhere but back and forth to a bakery for thirty years. So so yeah, so I bought it and it's, I've basically have had no problems with it since since I got it. Yeah, we got the caddy song. Caddy's song is a good song. If you wanna, if you wanna have a, you know, a little moment where you pretend you're also driving a caddy. So we went to Concord, and then we came back. LP40, thanks for the donation. It says, keep doing your thing, you do entertain us. You will be partner and streaming full time soon. I would really like that, but it's... It'll probably be... A while. Hey, you fucking needy, needy bitch. Like, there's probably a Hannah somewhere that would be more than happy to hang out with you. So where is the Codsworth that's holding on the floor? Let's see what he has to there say. Must be someone who can help okay, I apparently didn't do anything in Concord, not to the point of being like... Hey, you want to come with me? 
So here's what I'm thinking we'll, we'll do, because I really am finding myself looking down the very... the utter cusp of getting fucking killed a ton here. Um... I think we ought to do some fucking horse shit. Azzy, I'm sorry I blamed you for my failure as a gamer and as a human being. But I swear to God, if you bite my fucking headphone cable one more time, I'm taking you upstairs, and you're going to have to kick it with the fucking upstairs crew. Okay. That was my apology. You think it fucking went well? Alright, so we're all over-encumbered and shit now, because I'm not inside of my thing, so... Do that. Do this. You're gonna bite my fucking shirt now. You're ridiculous, dude. Alright, if we're gonna really do this, let's get serious about it. Oh my god, I, you know... There, I, I don't know if there should be some minor adjustment to the build or not, but I don't really feel like there needs to be. You know what I mean? I feel like we do okay with just, just the shit that we have. And I am a little bit hesitant to... Uh, I am a little bit hesitant to power level and then go out with no like proper weapon. I mean, we could make a fucking automatic pipe pistol from being power leveled up to whatever, gun, gun nut in level one. But we wouldn't have enough really ammunition to to benefit. And well, the one thing that fucking sucks is that the minigun thing went so well last time. And now that shit's gone, it's all gone. So what killed me? Uh, myself. I threw a fucking Molotov and it hit something that was right in front of me, Grandma Reddit style. Or, or a raider shot it out of the air to the exact moment that I let it go, but... It was probably the, the wire, I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to go back and check the instant replay on that shit. Oh, I will say one thing, I was like... I don't know, I, I guess I don't get that bummed when shit like that happens, but... I do get that bum when shit like that happens, and I know I'm not about to do something new, you know? I don't know how much of this we really need to do, but I want to do enough of it that I can... ...leave feeling like I'm not gonna die from poison, like, anytime soon. I feel like we're also gonna need to really rely on the weapon thing a little bit more than we have been doing. Pacifist run on the new survival mode. Well, that was well, that was the idea. I was going to do this this way so that I get the hang of the, the new survival mode, and then I was going to try to do the no-kill run. The no-kill run really, really will start with fucking hella scrapping of shit in order to hopefully get to the point where um, to hopefully get to the point where we can like sneak past some of the shit that I would normally pass if I my way through yeah I'm thinking that it had to yeah I mean it was obviously explosive damage um that killed me. The fire damage wouldn't have killed me right off the bat. But it could have been that I wasn't paying that much attention to my life. But, you know, I kind of actually am not that bummed about it because what that means is that it's not as easy as I thought it would be, which means it's going to be fucking impossible for anybody else. So I don't really need to worry about motherfuckers coming down and snatching it out of my fucking grasp. t Ronix maybe. But I don't think anybody else is even going to fucking attempt it. Because the world is full of pussies. Who cannot fucking bring themselves to do this shit. It could have been, I don't know. 
uh, the, uh, the one thing I have noticed, and maybe this isn't true, I mean, I, I obviously, I think that it was, because I, mean, I was the one who threw that Molotov, it wasn't just somebody else. It could have been two Molotovs at once, but it may be that when you have the adrenaline so that you're doing the extra damage, you're doing the extra damage and explosive damage to yourself, which is something we'll probably need to take into account when we're doing, like, massive spray and pray shit. But at any rate, yeah, scrapping. I'm just, I'm just scrapping, you know. I'm just scrapping and scrapping and scrapping. Scrapping that meat. Pussy. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm a little bit bummed about it. But I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I wouldn't be that bummed about it if I didn't know that we only have fucking three hours a night to stream in. You know what I mean? If I had more time to do it, I could be like, fuck it, I'll just fucking start over. I got fucking 12 hours today to do this shit in. But, I basically feel like what's gonna happen is, if I'm lucky, I'll get to the point that I was at last time. Which we won't probably get to that point. Uh, but oh well. At least it was a day, you know? It wasn't like a fucking month of playing it, and then I'm just like, well, I gotta do that over again. That would be real, real sad. Yeah, well, I probably don't need to do too much of this shit. How about a post scrap save? What difference would that make? If I die, I die. It's not like I'd be like, okay, well, I fucked up, and now the, and now I can go back. Uh, well, I guess I guess you have that point that you'd like to see me do, restart from that other point. But here's the thing: you can't just make a bunch of normal saves and then work through the game like that. The ge basically, the way that it works is the only saves that it gives you are auto saves from you sleeping. Which means that even if I did sleep right after I got done scrapping shit, it would still, even if I wasn't doing permadeath, it would still override it after three, three more times that I slept. So, it wouldn't make any sense. There's one part, or there's one save that the game was generous enough to give me. Um, which was... Right at the end of the vault, right before I went through the door. Just like how it usually does it in old school Fallout games. Like 3 and New Vegas, when it's like, alright, you've, you've completed your tutorial area. Now we'll give you a save right here. So that if you decide you want to start from this point, and then maybe you want to, you know do things differently from here or rebuild your character or whatever, then we'll give you that option. So that's nice. We, we could rebuild the guy from that point if it occurred to us that, hey man, this build actually is not going so well and I need to do more damage, like faster. So we're going to do that, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a necessary thing. First time I did this, I almost died from rad roaches. The first time I did what the permadeath run or the the first playthrough here, I didn't almost die from the roaches with Dick Johnson. Dick Johnson never died from rad roaches. The new survival might come out of the DLC, or is it just an update? Well, I think it'll be just an update. Um, which basically means you'll have the two modes. You'll have hard mode. And then you'll have survive very hard mode, then you'll have survival mode. The difference between them being that you know very hard mode will let you do the fast healing and won't give you diseases and all that other horrible shit. Whereas survival mode will have all of this. Here's the thing, we're just given a choice between fucking any fucking reality show on cable or even a fucking news station for this time slot. I choose where this builds. You have to be fucking multi-million dollar movie to freaking tear me away from this stuff. Including this stuff? 
Uh, speaking of this stuff, J.K. Stafford, I don't know if you'll be outbid or not, but right now you're the top donator, so you want to think of a game you want us to play on Sunday? That will be good. And if you say I want you to play Fallout 4, then I'll fucking, I'll fucking, I'll fucking play Fallout 4. But if you say you want me to fucking play Mitomo or whatever, then I'll fucking go out and get Mitomo. I'm not worried about that shit. I will do the things that my chat commandeth. Not because I must, but because I will. I will. I, I will for them. Or something. I don't know. Let's see, where's the broken fence that I hate to scrap because it's broken and I hate to scrap it? It's over here. What up, James Drama? Also, we got a donation from Red in the Chop, and I didn't say nothing, so what up? What up, man? Sorry I didn't see nothing. If you see something, say something. Play a Tony Hawk game. You can easily. I well, you know. I think. What what do I have? I think I have the original. I have the remake of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One on the Xbox 360, where you can make your make your guy and, and all that shit. I think. I think that's what it is. And I think you can replace your guy with like your weird Xbox avatar thing, which is kind of fun. What up, Richie? How's it going? Desert bus. I'll play fucking Desert Bus for three hours. You think I'm afraid of that shit? Challenge accepted. You're the ones who have to watch that shit, not me. Uh, what the hell just clinked? It was a coffee cup, I think. But then it fucking magically disappeared. Oh, well. Oh, I spotted it somewhere. There we go. Nancy Drew, haunted in... Message in haunted mansion f for life. Just fucking Farmville. It's like it takes the f it takes 24 hours for your first crops to grow. So you start by planting your crops, and then we watch for two and a half hours while you sit there and wait for your crops to grow. Can you imagine if I got roped into that shit? My mom was so fucking into Farmville, like more into a video game than I've ever been. Well, maybe not, but she had started uh, Facebook accounts for her cats so that she could have other farms to trade with when nobody else was around. Ghostly Toast. You gotta take off? That's a bummer, man. We barely knew ye, but I hope you come back, because I really, truly hope that we don't fuck up tonight or tomorrow, and that when you do come back, that we're still playing and, and we're advancing in some general degree. Shower with your dad simulator. It's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, if it's, if it's a game like that that's only gonna take, like, you know, an hour or maybe like an hour and a half to really to really like expend all of the fun things that are in it then you may want to pick two or three that are a a around that level you know what I mean like Gone Home might take like all of two hours or maybe a little bit more but like you know the Stanley Parable would take like I don't know an hour and a half some there's some degree of of like general game length. Bob Peeps is also taking off. What up, Bob Peeps? How's it going, Bob Peeps? I'll check you later, Bob Peeps. Heavy rain was really hilarious. Well, you know we didn't finish it, not even close. So if you want me to do heavy rain, we'll go back to that same log that I had and we'll continue on heavy rain. I'm down with that. The game is probably like, you are hungry, you are thirsty, you are dying. You need everything that you don't have and all the things that you do have, you don't have enough of, so you need more. Q. 
QWLP. Yeah, QWLP is one of those games that I would, I would literally exhaust my urge to play within like 20 minutes to a half an hour tops. When are they gonna release a QWLP remake for PlayStation 4? That's what I want to know. STD will kill him. God, I hope not. I should think that there's only one guy in the whole game that can give you an STD. And I just assume it's Hancock. Though maybe Kate can too. Those are the whoers. Webkins. Do Webkins, Klee. What is Silent Hill Downpour like? Or is it the bane of my existence? Silent Hill Downpour is like... Um, it's like a Silent Hill game if Silent Hill games were designed by, like, Anne Rice. I don't, I don't like it, though. No. I own it. It's not like I would have trouble loading it up and playing it. I would just rather hit myself in the fucking dick with a bag full of doorknobs. Which is not a game choice, by the way. Please don't ask me to hit myself in the dick with a bag full of doorknobs. There's a certain level of things that are better and a certain level of things that are worse than stapling your dick to a car door and then slamming it. But in general, it's a line that I like to prefer fuzzy. You know what I mean? What about Decan? What about Decan? What are you talking about, man? Did you make up Decan? This is entirely necessary. I'm just kind of caught up in it now. Even if I, you don't need a hundred dollars, you want to hit yourself in the dick with a bag full of doorknobs? No, no, I won't. I, 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 that's opening a can of worms that should absolutely stay shut, which is being able to pay me to cause myself physical harm. I already allow you to pay me to cause myself mental harm. Hell, I caused myself mental harm for free just because it seemed like the thing you guys wanted me to do. Let's do Fallout 4 Survival some more. Alright, cool. I'm cool with that. What if we send you a brand new Tesla M3? Nice. No, no. No, that's, like I said... That that becomes a problem. You know what I mean? Like, do you think fucking... Do you think, like, Aaron McGee is ever going to be fucking famous for anything else ever again? Do you think he's going to fulfill his fucking dream of becoming a lawyer? No, that guy has a fucking busted tooth, and he's going to star in fucking... Whacker and whacker jackass shit until he fucking puts his back out and then he's just gonna die sadly and sad and alone. Because all of his other friends will have died from cool shit like drugs and fucking crash crashing a fucking you know, expensive sports car into a fucking tree trunk or whatever, and he's just gonna be like Man, I wish I had invested in a 401k instead of trying to start a skate company with fucking Bam Margera or whatever the fuck he decides to do with his life. No. If you want to see somebody do pain to themselves, you can fucking watch the LA Beast, who I personally don't really enjoy that kind of entertainment, but... It seems to be quite popular with the kids these days. You can name your first robot after Stafford. Yeah, that's... That's a good idea. You know what's sad about Ryan Dunn? He was my favorite in that crew. So, okay, there's the Jackass crew, and then there was the CKY crew. If you kind of came up in, like, 2002, 2003, then you may or may not be familiar with Bam Margera's early stuff, the CKY videos. Because at the time, when he was making the CKY videos, they weren't just, you know, I'm... 
Johnny Knoxville and this is a bag full of fucking snakes in the face or whatever. It was like, you know, skits and weird fucking skate shit and, and pranks and, and all that shit. It was like kind of the whole package. And then they included the Jackass crew and they were just like, you know what, we just decided that we don't really like interesting shit anymore or fun or anything, so... We're gonna now just do fucking bits that are like this. Um, but yeah. Stupid men- or stupid- stupid mente. Absolutely haggard. Haggard was one of the- one of the best things that happened in my fucking teenage years. Ha haggard and CKY4 were like top tier entertainment for my 19 year old self. Fucking the He-Man and Skeletor, Skeletor and Beastman song in CKY4 was pivotal to designing the kind of person that I became in life. Yeah, no, I agree. He, that, that's the problem. Instead of remaining fucking dudes from Portchester who just liked to fuck around with each other, they got an MTV and they became fucking superheroes to the shitty skater crowd and they got like more and more like more and more into their own like characters, you know what I mean? Like Like I don't really have a character, I guess. I mean maybe I do, but like to, to you know to, to amplify my personality to like the utter limit would just be me fucking swearing louder and getting angrier and then being like calm about shit like 10 seconds later. That would be like the whole thing. And it wouldn't be very interesting, I don't think, but some people might like it. At any rate. I I I don't think that it would get as bad as like, oh, my persona is I'm a fucking hard drinking metal dude who just loves to fucking fuck shit up and, you know, skate or die and all that other shit. Like, that wouldn't happen to me, I don't think, but... But that's what happened. They, they fucking, they, they got caught up in fulfilling the expectations of the audience. And it fucking cost them. Can I see you HUD settings, please? I think we need to reset the HUD to whatever the HUD was when we were playing as the Automatron build, but I don't remember what it was. The FOV is probably... Oh wait, did you want to see this thing? Is this what you're talking about? Uh, oops, where is it? Display. These? RGB, just a slightly blue gray with a full HUD. That's all I do. Show active effects on HUD. Floating markles, blah, 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 blah. That's like the whole thing. Doorknob Klee coming through. Uh, what about doorknobs? Let's leave the doorknobs out of this. Did I already do everything? Or did I fuck up and fucking forget some shit? I must have because I didn't go to the fucking wild mute fruit area. Must have fucking got turned around on one of these houses. Let's see, this is... Oh, I can scrap the shit, I just didn't do it. That's Codsworth. Or no, that's the cooking station. Where is the kitty? I, I, I sent kitty away because kitty would not stop fucking with me and it occurs to me now that I probably need to focus for a while. Until I have, like, big dick armor with the explosive paint on it and shit. Thank you. I have a hard time getting mine to the color you have. Yeah, I would just go with, like, a three-fourths gray and then turn the blue up a bit. If you want to match the color. Go get basement gold bars. Well, that's what I'm talking about. That's the house that I know I didn't do yet. Or if we did do it, I didn't go around the back of it, so... I'm like I said, I must have got turned around somewhere. Okay, I did this house and then I started going that way and I fucked myself. This is the fence that I don't like to scrap. Because if you scrap this part and this part, you can't scrap this part. So the whole fence looks fucking stupid. Even if I scrap this part and this part. But I leave that one fence post up. Then that looks okay. 
you know. I just don't like that they fucking make it so that if you did literally scrap everything in Sanctuary, that fence would stay there. Yeah, the Nerd Circle was a fun fucking time. I was happy with the Nerd Circle. If you are watching this on YouTube, or you're perhaps new to the stream and you want to know what the fuck the Nerd Circle is, I would say go to the Automatron videos that are either... You can probably watch the VODs still if you're just on Twitch tonight, but if you want to see it and you're a long ways out, you're on YouTube or whatever, you can go to the Automatron DLC. It's the fight against the Courser. We go in, we're, we talk shit to the Courser, we've reprogrammed the Upper Tectron, and he's been following me around for a really long time. And I activate him, and he starts following me around, and then I just decide, you know what? Let's fucking... Let's fucking, uh... Activate this guy, and then we'll talk shit to the dude, and we'll see what happens. And what ended up happening was... The Protectron that we had designed, that we named after Hebrew Hand, and the medical Protectron that had been following me around for far too long, uh, probably longer than the game was supposed to allow, um, they ended up just pinning the Courser in the corner and beating the fuck out of him. Like, straight up, like, uh, college tuition beating the fuck out of him, you know what I mean? It was pretty, it was pretty amazing, actually. Do you use mods? I don't use mods on, on, yeah, just as out of general principle, I really don't use mods, but. Um. Oops. But, I would use a mod if it was like, if it would further the point of one of my builds. I just. Uh, at this point, none of that shit is entirely necessary. Like, when I was doing Grandma Reddit, I used a mod to make it so that her... Um... Mock's really strong. So that her... Uh... Explosive Devolution Expert thing was calculating correctly, because it was bugged. And so I used a mod there. Um... But, most of the time, no. Not really, no. You awake, still tired? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, because it's a dirty mattress. Alright, fine. If you say so, man. I don't think I'm close to death from not eating or drinking, but... We have a wrestling build, so you can use the Randy Savage Deathclaw mod. Um, I'm trying to think of how a... Yeah, what did you find? A tree, you motherfucker? What is happening right now? Why is this not... Am I not in the... Am I not in the confines of the fucking spaceship? Is that what's happening? Fuck me running. Okay, we did all this. I think we did everything. I just, I just somehow missed that one house. So, at any rate, let's go do the thing. I apparently missed more than that house. Because here's a house that's fully scrappable that I didn't scrap. But then... Let's see here. I did this house, right? Yes. I scrapped all that, I scrapped all that, I went to there, I did this thing, and I started from the scrap... the crafting house, which is over here. So I think I did get everything. I just, for some reason, forgot that one house. Okay, well. Um. We only have the one fusion core, and I gotta run back to the fucking robot to, to fix it, so. Oh, and I didn't scrap the inside of the crafting house. That's great. Dogmeat just wants you to get the goddamn duffel bag on the roof that you always forget. I've never seen a duffel bag on a roof. If there's a duffel bag on a roof, then yeah, it's not that I always forget it. It's that I've never seen it, because I never decided, I'll go roof to roof looking for shit to scrap. 
But I'm not even gonna bother to look. How does that make you feel? What kind of person would put a duffel bag on a roof in a place like this? Sicko fucker. That's who. Something just got added to my inventory, but I don't know what it was. Okay. Okay, so we'll go in here, we'll store all the junk. Let's see what else we can get out of here. We have all this horse shit. We have all of these aid items. We have the bobby pins and the bottle caps. And we have all these ammunitions. And we're almost fucking over encumbered just out of that. So, um, we need to actually, we need to bring the chemistry station and the other thing over here. On the cellar house roof, you can climb the fallen tree. Uh, okay. If I see it in the near future, I'll go do it. I guess it's over there, huh? And I didn't scrap those branches either, so that's good. In the wrestling build, you have to be addicted to psych, though, and use only use chairs as weapons. That would be interesting. I don't even know how I would go about that, but that would be interesting. Well, it's none of these fucking houses, I don't think. You mean the fallen tree is the tree that I, ne I never can scrap because it's like there forever? Yeah, I'll look for it. I've never seen it before. What am I forgetting here? I don't think I'm forgetting anything, am I? It's just all set up. Let's see, where is this fucking place? It's not this, it's not this, it's not that. Let's be on the other side. And I didn't do anything with this shit yet. <laughs> nice flash. I like to hear that. My game, my my ability to scrap. Cellar house. What do you think I fucking memorize? What the diff these different houses are? They're all look the fucking same. God damn you, Hebrew hand. Yeah, they look the same. Let me tell you. They look the fucking same. I don't know which fucking house one of these houses is the cellar house. Did you or don't you remember me being like, okay, which one of these fucking houses is the cellar house? And then I looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. Northeast side. Fuck you, man. Come on. It's a rat. I don't even have the compass. I'm in scrap mode, remember? Here, I'll fucking... Yeah, it's this one, right? This is why I never fucking do it, because look at this. To get on the tree, you have to exit the area, so I never have fucking bothered to come up here. Why would I? Look at this fucking thing. What's in here that's so important? Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm over and covered now, thanks. I blame everybody here. Everybody in the whole chat I blame. Okay, let's eat some fucking things. That are pre-fucking prepared for me to eat. Uh, not even close. It's probably still thinking like, Hey buddy, are you ever gonna fucking eat enough food to survive? It's like, fuck dude, I just ate enough food for like ten people. Right there, blue house. What, this blue house? You mean that blue house? Maybe it's this blue house. Are you sure it's not this fucking blue house? Mm -hmm. No, sir. I feel nothing about the cellar house. Nothing at all. Alright, we gotta craft some shit here. I'm probably suffering from... Intelligence failure because of all the drinking of not drinking of water. Am I right about that? Mildly dehydrated. Int minus four. 
what's fucking heavily dehydrated look like? All right, here we go. I'll just hold that down for the rest of this stream. Oh, fuck me. The one with the rust. It's the one with the rusty roof that's got a tree next to it. I, I didn't, yeah, there's no reason to have made a note of it because I didn't know what the fuck it was. Here. Chat can't even see you, baby. Million dollar idea. Do books on tape for children. Sands the rants and cussing. Well, that's what. That's no fun. I found out the items that change in the shop in Mitomo Daily are random per user. Everyone knows that when you get dehydrated, you turn into a Neanderthal. I just, you know, feel like taking a drink. Am I well hydrated yet, you evil fucker? 